Barracuda. Um, not a fish that's generally held in real high esteem uh, for whatever reason. I mean, there are people that have concerns about Cigatera, which really is not a concern in Louisiana. Um, we have so few hard coral reefs. I have had some people tell me we have no hard coral reefs, but uh, they're certainly few and far between. And, and the Cigatera organism only grows on hard coral. It moves up the food chain, and somehow Barracuda ended up getting a bad name because of that. Also, I think one of the reasons that people don't like or think they don't like barracuda and mackerel is the color of the meat. They go, oh, it's not a nice white meat. Well, I want you to notice how nice and white it is after it's cooked. Um, to me, it's a great fish. Um, this one was spearfished uh, by free divers uh, at the rigs. So uh, we love it here. It, it's great grilled, it's great blackened. Uh, this dish we're going to bronze it, which is just lightly blackened, and we're going to serve it with some mixed greens. We've got some dandelion greens um, and some chard. I've already got onions and, uh, and bacon and hot chilies working over here, and that's going to be the start of our, of our braised greens. I'm just going to go right in here, add a little water, and pretty much put that on a high fire. And while that's cooking, we're going to make a little uh, northern Louisiana hot water cornbread. And I've lost my salt. Oh, here it is over here. So cornmeal, pinch of salt. I have this much cornmeal. I'm going to add this much boiling water. I'm going to stir it together, let, it, uh, let it, the meal absorb the water. Then we're going to deep fry it. You can also shallow fry it, or you can fry it like a pancake. All right, so equal amounts, boiling water and cornmeal. Stir that together. All right, so that's all there is to, all there is to that. We're going to let that sit for a minute and let the, the meal absorb the boiling water, soften up just a little bit. And then we're just going to fry that by spoonfuls in hot grease. So we've got our, we've got our bacon, onions, and greens cooking pretty hard. We also added some hot chili to that because what we're going to do is we're going to make this a hot and sour broth. Um, and we've got the hot and we've got the broth and this is what's going to make it the sour. Uh, you could use any kind of vinegar you got, white vinegar, apple cider vinegar. Um, this is a seasoned rice vinegar which you know I guess is a little bit more of an Asian flavor. So now I'm going to uncover that pot and I'm going to start heating this pan for our, our bronze fish. Alright so we're going we're gonna to lightly coat this this is kind of a thick piece of fish, so we're going to coat it on all four sides with our Cajun land seasoning. All right, I've got a little bit of oil, a little bit of butter, very hot pan, and I'm going to put this right down in there. And this is a fish, it, it's a little bit like, a little bit like mackerel, a little bit like, uh, like wahoo and some other fish that people think are fat, but they're actually kind of lean. You don't really want to cook it well, well done. You know, just the other side of medium, maybe medium well. So it's nice and juicy. We've got some color on all four sides. Now I'm going to reduce the heat and put a lid on it and let it finish that way. Should be about three or four minutes. All right, the fish is cooking, it's covered up. Uh, the greens are almost done. And I've got a little pot of grease hot on the stove, so we're going to fry the bread. All right, our hot water cornbread is done. I'm gonna drain that right here. And like I said, if you don't wanna to go to the, the trouble of deep frying, you can shallow fry, or you can either cook that like a pancake. And our, our greens are done. Almost don't wanna call those greens because they got more bacon than greens in them. So we've got the broth, we've got the hot, and now we're adding the sour.
Our fish is ready. Go ahead, it smells good. This is one of those famous dishes with no butter, right? No butter, but lots of bacon. So I want to get plenty of broth in the bowl. Plate the barracuda. The barracuda moved when I wasn't looking. And then we're going to add our little corn fritters. And finally, that's our finished dish. We occasionally serve this at GW Fins, but it is in my cookbook, The Deep End of Flavor, which is available at the restaurant. Come by here, I'd be happy to inscribe it for you. Or you can order it on our website, and I'll still be happy to inscribe it for you. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh, they print a new menu daily. Give them a call and tell them CT said to give you the best seat in the house.